Hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy X Hard Mode, we choke Billy. We, uh... Oh, I knew someone would give us items. Of course it would be the last place i check. Yeah, let's... Get to it. Now there's a rare sight. Whoa, that's huge! Uh-huh. What is that? That is scary. The great sacred beast, protector of Bavel. <laughs> the red carpet has teeth. Wait, Always like that, that phrase. We're close to Bavel. Riku, you read me. We're gonna fight that thing. Get on deck and show him what you got. Go. A Pokemon. Again. The ferryman asks a high price. Oh, and with his metaphors. Hello, Rin. Open the hatch. We fight. Evre is truly mighty. Be well prepared. That's yeah, all the same stuff. Oh. We gotta pay. <laughs> if we lose, you'll die too, buddy. I have faith in your victory. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Uh, let's do this. Now, this is going to be a scary fight because it's got two distances. Uh, long range and close range. And to, I'm going to see if I can keep it uh, distant range. We need a very particular sequence of events to happen. Well, no need, but it'd be nice. Such that we can get we things going the way we want it to. But we can't let her get too far away. You all have to tell me when to move. We have three characters that are going to be able to hit this guy, and Riku ain't one of them. Her items cannot hit far away enemies. So it's going to be Kamari, Lulu, and Waka. And then, yeah, you can move close and far away from this flying worm. And it's going to start off with an attack. Can we dodge it? Picks the right person. Uh, Lulu and dodge? Nope. Okay, that sucks. Yeah, so we can move in. So on the turn order, you can see there we've got Sid underneath Riku. If we did pull back now, it would pull back when Sid's next turn comes around. Now that uh, only happens, uh, both Tidus and Riku can uh, command to pull back or pull in if you're far away. And we are going to spend most of this fight in the pulled back uh, stance because it only uses one move, which is Photon Blast, and that is perfectly fine. So, first and foremost, we want to. Let's go for. Where is it? The Smoke Bomb. It deals a bit of damage and it will miss its next hit. It's actually really unfortunate that Oren is down. So I have to revive him. And then we are going to use a Silver Hourglass, which I always thought delays next turn of all enemies. So, you know, delay. Delay is a status effect in this game. So I, you know, assumed that it was delay that was happening. Turns so out it's not. It's slow. And this thing can be slowed. That doesn't move this turn, but misses that attack. That's fine. Uh, we want... Um, we're going to want her there, so we might as well go for someone that can do a bit more of a physical attack. Go Kamari. Then we are going to use a Lunar Curtain. A Lunar Curtain uh, is Shell, effectively, and that will reduce the damage that the Photon Beam, or whatever move it's called, does. Now, it can be power broken, however, Photon Beam is magic, but any physical moves it does from now on, their 
power will be reduced, which is nice. Uh, not going to use haste yet because I need it to be at a point where all the characters are here that I want to be hasted. And Auron is not a haste character I want. Uh, so let's use Lincoln on Kamari because he's going to need shell as well. Okay, this isn't cool. Forgot about this. So we are going to need to use pullback before Sid uh, turns up. Uh, yeah, and we've got two more Riku turns. That's good. Now, obviously, we can also swap Tidus in to get the turn just before, but we're going to be using haste at this point as well, so we should be good. Now, I'm going to swap him out for Walker, who Walker is also going to be a character we want to have... A Lunar Curtain on. Oh, that moves him forward. That's really annoying. Because I want Oren to act before Riku's second turn. So I can swap Oren out and give... Ah. Okay, so we get another Riku turn before the boss, so we're going to need to use pullback now. We don't need any more physical hits, I don't think. No. Yep, yeah, then we will get Lulu in. Let's go Kamari, actually. And do another one of his... <laughs> quote unquote powerful moves. Now. Yeah, now's not the time for unexpected turbulence. As you can see, Evray is far away. Yay! Ah. So the turn order has. Ch oh, because I didn't use the item. So everyone here should be fine. I think Riku might die. Have to find out. It's not the end of the world if that is the case. Oh yeah, because it uh, stockpiled the poison breath, it means that it doesn't hit anyone. So actually, we get a free pass on that. Woo! Lucky. Right. Uh, everyone's shelled. Yep. So chocobo wing haste all. Now we're gonna need to haste Lulu as well. Now we just lance it. And then yeah. Oh, I should have switched to Kamaria actually. Switch in Lulu. Now, Evre annoyingly takes half damage on all magics, but this is the only way, or the only way, and the safest way to be able to deal damage to it because its uh, physical attacks are devastating. Like one hit will one shot anyone, even with power break and protect. So it's just not worth it. Now we will get back Riku. Riku will also the defenses and Lulu has a really good magic defense as well so that's decent and Sid also has three lots of these guys as well which is really cool makes the fight go a bit quicker uh, yeah then we're gonna choke away feather which is haste on Lulu and now all the characters we care about have haste and shell. Then let's get back Walker. And then we just keep doing this till we get its health down to about, I think the exact number is 10,666. Uh, at which point it will cast haste on itself and then it will counterattack with a, I can't remember exactly the name of the move, but something scythe. And what that means will happen is that it will basically get up close to us and deal damage to everyone. Now, it can miss. I've had it where Lulu has evaded the move before, so I'm going to try and inflict darkness on it before it gets the move off. Even with power break, it'll still one-shot everyone on the team. So we need to be super lucky. Now, Lulu does have a really good evasion stat, so we need to be really hopeful. I'm just going to... I just want to see. Yeah, so shell, haste. Yeah, that's all we can hope for, really. 
And that's got slow and darkness at the moment and power break. Now darkness will disappear after three turns, I believe. So unfortunately, even though it's using a magic attack, it will uh, still do damage to everyone. Oh, yay. Now this does a random amount of hits to everyone, but pretty much everyone should survive now with the shell up. Yeah, so you can see everyone's within uh, surviving range there. Now I can risk it and go again and expect another photon ray and everyone will probably survive. Kamari definitely will due to the fact he's lanceting. If I do have to use a phoenix down, it means that I'll then have to recast haste and shell on whatever character dies, which will be Lulu because Lulu, even though she has the best magic defense, has the smallest health pool. And yeah, rinse and repeat till silky smooth. And there's good ways to be able to optimize your turns as well. For example, Riku is the fastest character. And when she uses an item, she generally gets a turn off directly after herself because of the fact that uh, she has haste and she's just quick. So it's always worth, if you do need to heal up, use the heal the turn with any character immediately after. Well, I say with any character... Kamari's first turn after um, it's used Photon Ray. You can see this is going to be a death almost literally of a million cuts, so it's going to take a while. Alright, so we've got it to just above 10k health, so it's 10,666 is when it uh, will start going berserk. Now, again, I'm not 100% sure if blind will actually affect this at all. Or will help, even. Uh, but, as I mentioned before, Lulu has evaded. And she's got a pretty good evasion. So, and it's only got a 50% chance to actually be blinded. So, we need to hope. That doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Now, I'm going to... Avoid hitting it because we want it to be blinded before it gets its move. And obviously, if I have to use an ether for Waka to blind it, then I have to use an ether. On. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I'll use haste now. Which means our turn orders are going to be a bit more screwy. Oh, here we go. We survived! <laughs> My god! We survived! We survived! Oh my god, we survived! Probably it. Yeah. Well, let's just go again. Hey, okay, right. Go back farther away. So that'll happen in four turns' time. You, I want you to do absolutely nothing. He was petrified, uh, so he's now lost his haste and shell, which is a shame, but not the end of the world. Now. Let's just get Kamari out, see what its health is. I believe it's 1080 or 1068, something like that. Yeah, 10683. So this. Where are you, Poison Fang? Should be delicious. Now, it all depends on how its own haste affects it, but. Good damage roll. Cool. That's fine. That's really, really good, actually. So we'll get the pullback, which means that I want Tidus to survive. Actually, I want Oren to survive. Because he has haste and... Basically, everyone has uh, haste and shield. Uh, shell, even. 
And we get another poison fang off. Ooh, look at that. No, we won't be, don't worry. Ooh, and one more. Uh. Yeah, having Tidus there was the best asset. Shouldn't have put Auron there. Though Auron is the least likely to die from it. Admittedly. What about for Lulu? What do we get? And Kimari, let's see what its health is. Should be about 7k, I think. Seven and a half, six and a half. If we lance it, does that put spend into the... No, not quite. That's a shame. Um, if we keep Riku there, should be there for the following turn. It will use that move again. So we are going to have to pray. I'll put Tidus there anyway because he's got the slightly higher defense. So we should be able to chunk block this. It all depends on what this next move is as well. Keeping Riku out of the line of fire is probably our best defense here. Oh, it just straight up missed. Okay, that was really good. Ooh, would you look at that? Oh, when's... Oh, Sid's next turn's for oh, ages away. Ugh. We've only got one turn between things and... We need that to be Sid, <laughs> really. Uh, have to try and make the most of these poison fangs, I guess. Well, that brings her forward a turn. Doesn't really help though. All depends on what moves it uses, and I'm pretty sure we all know what it is. Ironic that the poison fangs are my easiest way out of this fight, but then they're also. One of the biggest reasons I'm not succeeding. Now, we can survive this. Oren can survive this. Which would mean we get an attack here. If we got lucky and it used something like Stone Gaze, then... That would mean that would be the breath, and then that would happen, and then that wouldn't happen, and it would miss us, so... <sighs> Edge our bets, I guess. Well. Oh! God damn! If I'd known it was going to done that, I would have darkened it. Oh, no! Okay. Please get a turn. Please, 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 please. Okay. Please have a turn before Sid. Just please. Ah, oh, so close. Oh, this is tense, man. Um, oh, got the crit. Really, we need Riku not there. So I don't know if she'll survive the hit from the... Oh, it's going to be Poison Breath, which won't hit. So we have an opportunity here. It's the Poison Breath. Poison Breath will miss. Oh, but it'll counter-attack, won't it? Yeah, let's... I screwed myself using an item before. Um... So if we hit it and it counterattacks, it will come up close and then it will still get its turn and it will poison breath everyone and we will probably fail. 
Uh, don't know what to do. When Sid's next turn, after a while, so we assume that's the poison breath. We can yeah, let's just use an item for now. Perfect. Defend, 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 I'm guessing. Ah, oh, it gets another turn between... If I do that, does that help at all? Maybe Riku will be able to insert herself. Ugh, that's weird. Um... Unless the item is... I can't believe... I can't remember if she has haste now. She doesn't. Oh, come on. So it'll souping scythe. Please, Riku, don't die. Oh, God. Anticipation's killing me. Or oh, killing Riku. Are oh, you... I hate you. Wait, let me just see how much health it's got. I can't even remember now. You kidding me? Ah! Oh. And she doesn't have a turn for how long? Ah, oh, this sucks. Right. Let's tee this again. It'll do its thing. We pull back. We heal up. Whatever its thing is. Yeah, that's pretty much what I expected. We're slowly whittling away our characters that have haste. Ugh. Yep. I... I need us to survive. If we survive this turn, then there's a good chance we've done the fight, depending on the poison. Please, not more than 360. Please, not more than 360. Please, not more than 360. Right. Okay. Let's Mega Phoenix will revive Tidus to his full, which may be important. <laughs> oh, this is killing me, man. We are so close! Ah, oh, less than 300 damage away! Oh. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Okay, this is good. This is really good. Right. Provided on its next turn, it doesn't kill Riku, we should be okay. How much health do you have? Oh, my heart is pounding right now. Um, Any move it uses, it will kill someone, probably. So it's probably best to go for the most damage output we can do. Yes! Oh, is that it? Is, is this... Just gonna confirm. Just gonna confirm. Hey guys, shall I, shall I use a Riku physical attack to see what happens? Don't even 
Don't, uh, don't even joke, man. Oh, I might need these poison fangs. I'm not actually sure if I want to use all of them. I know that should deal about 700 damage or so. Get a smoke bomb. Please, 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 please. Yes! <laughs> oh my! I I can't I I can't believe this. I. <laughs> oh! My. It only took me about seven turns, or tries even. Oh! Now that's what you call turn optimization. Please let me heal. Please, Lord, let me heal. Please let me heal. Or save or something. Oh, I'm not going to get to heal or save, am I? Is Sid saying, oh, don't be fallen now, and then just doing a descent at terminal velocity. These guys are able to hang on. Doing a Sonic from Sky Chase Zone, just, yeah. Facing a high-speed air vehicle, but stand on the wings. Oh my god, I am shaking from that fight. And if it's all over now, I'm actually going to cry. Hey, I know it's possible. And that's all that matters. I always assumed that was from Evre, which we just decimated. I like the attention to detail with the rolls of skin on the back of Keenock's head. <laughs> it's the little things. Otherwise, my uh, immersion would be broken. Sid saying this thing don't move fast. Now I remember, I think I recall there being a save point near to here. Please, oh please game, let me at least heal. Because I know there's an enemy that hits the entire party and will probably party wipe us if it gets the chance. Please, 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 please. I know there's a save point around here. I'm sure there is. Please, just... Uh, don't run the other way. Don't, don't you do it. Don't, no, 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 no. Oh, there's no save point. We're not out of the woods yet, guys. Right. Left. To be fair, I'm playing the HD version, so this should be autosave to this point. Oh, I really hope so. Right, we want Riku, Oren, and Imari, probably. So I know there'll be a fire move, and it'll hurt. Yeesh. Right. Yeah. Well, 
well. This is going well, isn't it? I have to use a Mega Phoenix at this point, really, game. I mean, the problem is the f flamethrower dude, really. Maybe the problem we're facing here is that we're just going to be outsped all the time. Yeah. Iriku just jump over it. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's the uh, HD version, so please, game. I'll let you guys experience this with me, in case it isn't. You can witness me cry. <laughs> God bless auto saving. Oh, we have to see this again. Oh, you can skip. Anyone knows you could skip these things? I'll skip these ones annoyingly. Yeah, there's pools. Why isn't there a save point here? Great, Shiriki, you come out. Let's see this here to you two. To be fair, Lulu might dodge some bullets. This is a good evasion. Let's go the tank, Yurita. Actually, she's got a good magic defense, and that will, that fire is fire, and I assume fire is magic, regardless of its source. Making sure I didn't put Riku back in the party. Can't believe there's no safe one here, man. Literally unplayable. Right. Sorry, Kamari. Ooh, Lulu survived as well. I was right. <laughs> Time for a game of musical statues. No! Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. I just scared the hell out of myself. Yeah. I need to think about the next set of enemies coming up. So there's, I know there's going to be these machines and they're going to be pain. Would be machina, and these guys suck. Okay, more than I initially thought. Huh. Okay. Yeah, there's no way out of that. We get Riku. It's Petra Grenade. Go and petrify the robot. The robot kicks her in the face. She dies. Yeah. Now, how do we get around that? Is there a possibility that we could dodge the kick with Lulu? We get two character sweeps. Fire. To be honest, we got the best possible outcome. Except for the hit being dodged. Because we were still... I know we weren't left with two living characters, were we? Because Lulu definitely can't take two flamethrowers. Mari. I yeah, know he's got the fire thing as well. Find out in the next episode!